Okay, so I am going to make this video on how to whistle loudly without your fingers. And the reason why it's important to not use your fingers is if you're a coach and you've got a clipboard and a, and something else in your hands, you don't you want your you want to do this hands free. Or if you're in need of help and somehow your hands aren't use, useful to get to your mouth, you don't need your hands. And besides, if you want to whistle loudly and your hands aren't clean, you don't want to be sticking your hands in your mouth. So we can do this out hands, okay? I would suggest going straight to without hands. That way you don't form bad habits with how you're forming your mouth. Because I'm sure the mouth formations are completely different. And I, I don't even know how to whistle with my hands in my mouth. So anyway, um, I learned how to whistle loudly in seventh grade. I had a friend who learned how to, and he coached me a little bit and, and just practice, 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 practice. I was in the middle of class in seventh grade and all of a sudden I got it. I was like, it wasn't that loud, but it wasn't that dramatic, but I figured it out. So, um, to start, you want to, it's all about your lips. Your lips have to go inside your mouth. Like you're saying the word F, but instead of your bottom, your your teeth hitting the bottom, you want to take the top lip and put it inside your teeth. So it's completely hiding your teeth entirely. Like that. Okay. I know it looks stupid, but you have to, you have to get rid of your lips. Okay. First thing to start with practice saying F with F without the, with your upper lip as well. Like this F F F. Okay. I know you're going to be like, well, that's stupid. F. Okay, that's, the, that's how you get your lips to the right formation. Okay, that's, you got one thing, first thing, lips. Second thing, tongue. Okay, your tongue has to make this, this form inside your mouth. Okay, you're just basically curling it up, but you're not, you know, making a U shape. You actually want to make it more like a, kind of like an airplane. You want the, 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 out, the sides of your tongue to go out. So it's like this. It's the tip of your tongue is coming inside your mouth and the, um, the fat part of your tongue is laying out flat. The only thing that's really moving is the groove that's in the front of your tongue going in or out. So you can practice, practice this first with the lips and the tongue. You know, all you really want to do is just keep your lips nut formation and make your tongue flat and make the tip of your tongue. You're not really curling your tongue, actually. It's not this. You're, you're basically keeping your tongue flat and just the tip of your tongue trying different variations in the front. And the air that goes through that little groove in your tongue um, is what's going to make the sound. The air actually just escapes through that little groove in the middle, in the middle at the very front. And just practice um, going out more. If you don't get the sound, bring it in more. Eventually you hear a little bit of wisp. That's what you're looking for is that wisp, that wisp sound. And then you can ver um, do different variations with the tip of your tongue. Um, but you'll get it. You just keep practicing. Bye.